Julius essentially drafted Obama's technology and innovation plan, this article says. The head of the One Tech Advocacy, Advocacy Group, he also enjoys a great deal of trust in the business world since he once served as a head of a major Internet company. Besides, he can't be much worse than the last guy. <laughs> you think? L look at that state. Can he be worse than the last guy? I mean, I think Obama's worse than Bush, and that's saying a lot. I know... I know that Alberto Gonzalez was worse than Ashcroft, and if it's even possible. And I believe Holder's worse than both of them put together. Yes, they can be worse than the last guy. It can get worse. This past FCC has been a disaster. It's almost semi-corrupt. Why? Because, again, it's a government agency used as a check and balance to what? Check and balance to make sure your opinions do not affect the endgame goals of this current administration and their controllers. And there's just a ton of information on this. When the Senate recently voted 87 to 11 in favor of an amendment prohibiting the reinstatement of the Fairness Doctrine, with obvious White House approval resulting from the support of all those the Senate Democrats, you immediately start looking for the other shoe to drop. What, what's the real plan to shut down, in this case, conservative talk radio? Christian broadcast, broadcast like this. Where's Obama hiding the peanut this time? In other words, let's go back to three-card Monty, folks. FCC regul... That's what we need, more regulation. The standard playbook for revolutionaries is to seize all the television and radio stations first. This is exactly... I know people aren't going to like me saying this, but I don't care. This is exactly what Hugo Chavez has done in Venezuela. He puts himself on TV every week, and anyone that, that dissents is punished. These aren't real revolutions, by the way, or even real revolutionaries. They announce the rebels are the new government. The left has already done this to America, as the right just did, and the right is the phony right. It's all left. you got anarchy on one side and socialism or communism on the other. We're much closer to the socialism communist side. So so even the Bush administration were, were leftist in that regard. Except for a couple of holdouts, conservative talk radio, uh, shows like this. Obama's already taken over General Motors, firing, replacing its CEO and board of directors. Now he's angling to take over the banks, which which they've pretty much done. Well, you can argue the banks took over him. TARP loans in the common stock. He has to find some way to take over the radio stations, or at least the ones that are criticizing his administration. Here in Austin, Texas, trying to work with micro stations, almost impossible. Why? Because the people, they don't want to hear anything bad about Obama. Now, they didn't mind hearing bad things about the Bush crime family for eight years, but now they don't want to hear anything being said bad about their, their savior, their leader. So citizens hearing Hearing the, the homegrown broadcasts, uh, such as this one, uh, echoing throughout the buildings here in Texas, call and snitch on them, calling the FCC to get them shut down. It is the civilian patrols that help enable the Hitlerian FCC. The Senate immediately followed uh, this approval of Jim DeMint's amendment prohibiting the Fairness Doctrine by approving an amendment by uh, No Dick Durbin, which <laughs> provided for the FCC to encourage and promote diversity in communications, media, ownership, and, if that's not Orwellian, and ensure that broadcast station licenses are used in the public interest. This language points the way, but it's just a sideshow. The main frontal attack is not going to come through Congress where talk radio audiences and uh, even Christian grassroots or shows like this can be mobilized to stop it. It's going to come through regulations issued through the FCC, which already has all the legal authority it needs, though that can be argued per the Constitution. The FCC is currently composed of two Democrat and two Republican commissioners. Obama nominated the new chairman, his longtime pal, Julius Janikowski, which would give the Democrats a three-to-two majority once he's confirmed, and that's happened. World Net Daily reported Janikowski advocates creating a new media ownership rule that promote a diversity of voices on the airwaves. In fact, Janikowski is credited with helping craft the Obama technology agenda, which states... 
the Obama technology agenda, which states, quote, encourage diversity in the ownership of broadcast media, promote the development of new media outlets for expression of diverse viewpoints, and clarify the public interest obligations of broadcasters who occupy the nation's spectrum. In other words, we control it for the good of all people everywhere. One of these public interest obligations of broadcasters has always been broadcast localism, which is the responsibility of stations to serve the needs and interests of their local communities, as specified in the original Communications Act of 1934. Obama has already said, I fully endorse a call for new rules promoting greater coverage of local issues, okay, saying all the right things. I believe that broadcasters license renewal requests, periodic review, required to ensure the broadcasters are complying with their public interest obligations to local communities for using the public spectrum. To require greater FCC scrutiny, public input should occur more frequently. Well, the public input they want to hear. Periodic review of licenses on broadcasters to make sure they are what? Say it with me. Complying. Look, I mean, I've got a theory here. You don't like what's on the radio? Turn the channel. What obligations do we have as broadcasters, as, as people within the, the information pool? All right, I, I accept my obligation to, to protect my local community, my state, and my country from, from the government, from the FCC, and from intrusive, freedom-snatching regulations, more regulations. That's what's going to do it. And we've seen this in every realm of our lives. This has been going at light speed. We can't even really tackle it all. And it makes it even harder when the people we've been fighting with, shoulder to shoulder, are now for more regulations and putting the FCC in charge of all information, including what's going on on the Internet, which they have just been drooling to do. And here now is the problem and the solution, net neutrality. The FCC has already endorsed several regulatory requirements that each station convene a permanent advisory board made up of officials and other leaders from the service area of its broadcast station. In other words, the leaders of the community, those chosen again by the FCC and the government, will be the advisory board that tell you what you can do, when you can do it. These boards enable stations to regularly meet with community leaders and individuals from all sectors of the community that are approved for advice on how better to serve the needs and the interests of each community. All of that sounds really wonderful until, again, it's put in the hands of the government. Are you ready, America? Net neutrality, net regulations, legislation of the Internet coming right now.